Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Despite some modest revisions in Colombia's New Deal with the FARC, a U.S. designated terrorist organization, this is still a sweetheart deal for these narco guerrillas. Under this deal, FARC members will still be allowed to run for public office, and I worry that while in office, FARC officials will undermine the progress made in Colombia. We have already seen a significant increase in drug trafficking from Colombia since negotiations with the FARC began, and there should be no doubt that the FARC, one of the largest narco-terrorist groups in the world, is responsible for this increase. What kind of increase in drug trafficking should we expect if these narco-terrorists are given even more power and more influence in Colombia's government? Mr. Speaker, the Colombian people rejected the prior FARC agreement, and I believe that their concerns must be addressed before any revised agreement is finalized. President Santos will be here in Washington to meet with members of Congress tomorrow, and I hope he addresses our concerns. Thank you for the time, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.